Hi everybody, welcome to my first video in the Krita Pop-Up Palette series. We're going to be going over the Pop-Up Palette in Krita for this entire series and make sure that the videos are short and easy to understand for those who are new to Krita or don't understand or are not sure how to use the Pop-Up Palette to their benefits. I made this series, or I'm going to start this series because a lot of people in my poll don't understand how to use it or don't like it. And I want to make sure everyone understands how beneficial it is before they decide to go deactivate the, the hotkey. So to start with, you right click anywhere in your canvas or outside it to activate the pop-up palette. Now mine looks a little different because I've been messing with the colors, so yours may not look like this, but generally this will be white, or this will be black and this will be white. And this reflects this part here, the foreground and background colors. And your overall default brushes might be different than mine and that's okay i've been using this for a while so this is where i've stuck my uh, favorite brushes and stuff so don't worry if yours doesn't look exactly like mine does for the most part the pop-up palette is a quick access to all your favorite brushes colors and other settings that normally would be found in other dockers around your canvas here your work area your brush presets could be here, your colors are here, it's just a lot of stuff to constantly look around, right? So by keeping everything in a um, organized, um, compartmentalized, I guess, area, you don't have to worry about looking around too much for things, everything's right there for you, especially for your brushes. And that's why the pop-up palette is a really great feature in Krita, and that's how you can actually get things done a little bit faster, especially when you're trying to flip through your favorite brushes or colors when you're working on whatever it is you're working on. And that is the brief overview of what the pop-up palette is. The next video will be going over how to customize the pop-up palette to have brushes that you like to show up, and how to flip through all the different brushes around here so that you can utilize um, the resources a lot better. So if you want to make sure you don't miss out on that, make sure to like and well, make sure to subscribe to my channel, but I would appreciate a like for this video as well. And as I'm making this series, please feel free to ask any questions about something to talk about in the next video or another video for the pop-up palette. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.